Doesn't my planner look absolutely adorable with these pom-poms in it? I have a tutorial for you today. Uh, all you need is three things and 30 seconds and your planner can be absolutely adorable too. Keep watching. <laughs> Hi there, it's Kara from The Hooting Pirate and I have a fantastic video for you today. I get a lot of questions and comments about the cute little pom-poms in my planner. So today I'm going to show you a really quick, super simple way to add these to your planner today. Before we get started, I want to make sure that you're subscribed because, um, especially if you're new here and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, I don't want you to miss a thing. I've got fantastic tutorials. I put a video up every Monday and sometimes during the week, like this little bonus one, which is going out on a Thursday. Make sure you're subscribed. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it and comment. But first, let's get into the tutorial. It's actually pretty simple and you may be surprised, but I'm going to tell you why I put these in here. It's so that I can just flip to the page. It makes it easier to find. So I'm going to put the next one, because this is old, I'm taking this out. So I need to put, a, I want to have the pom-poms in my planner and I also need to put them on this page. This is um, the books that I'm reading. So every time I finish a book, I write the title and color it in. And because this insert is so full, I've added extra washi, like the page ends here, you can see the difference, and I've added washi out and around to make it wider, but since this insert is so full, I have a really hard time finding the page, because they're all really fat and it doesn't come out as much. So I thought if I put the pom-poms here, then I'll be able to see them. So here's the secret. All it is, is pom-pom fringe and double-sided tape. Huh, see, told you it was simple. So I'm gonna put it here, but I'm not gonna put it on this washi because I tested it before I started and the washi is too slick and it will just slide right off the double-sided tape. So we're taking that off and you can choose, if you'd only have like a wider one, it will work, but you're gonna have like sticky on the side. You can, you can trim it, but this one, see, it's just, you can see, it's just wider than the, uh, I don't know what that, the ribbon part of the fringe I don't know it's it's a little bit too wide so I'm gonna get a bit of sticky and I don't want sticky it'll collect dust and whatever and make dirty I don't want extra sticky so we're just gonna go with the thin stuff and all you need to do this stuff rips really easily so all I'm going to do is run it right along the edge of my page you don't even have to go right to the very top or right to the very bottom I'm going to pull off the back if I can get it off and then add it with the pom-poms facing out, making sure that I'm covering up the double-sided tape. You have like a grace period if you don't get it straight to pull it back up, but once it's on there, it's on there pretty strong. And it's like, this has been here, this one's been there since January, I think, and it, uh, it hasn't budged. It's holding it on pretty strong. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Look how stinking cute that is. Let me know in the comments below what page you were going to highlight with pom-poms in your planner. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get tutorials like this in your um, YouTube feed all the time. And uh, yeah, if you hit that little bell, you'll get, a you'll get a notification when the new video comes up. Have a fantastic day and happy planning.